no, 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 let, let her go. Let her, no. No, no, let it. It's okay. Anyway. Look. I guess what I'm trying to say to you is, I grew up in neighborhoods where I know what it likes when the plant closes down. The large General Motors plant, as I said, largest Chrysler plant, when they shut down, people lost their sense of pride. Neighborhoods were in real trouble. People wondered whether they were going to stick around what was going to happen to their families. It's a big, big deal. So this opening of Belvedere again is a gigantic deal as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Matt, the UAW in Boone County is lucky to have you, pal. It's good to be in Illinois with so many friends. And Gov, you've done one hell of a job. You worked so darn hard to get jobs back here in Belvedere. And by the way, you don't want to be on the other side of this guy. He knows what he's doing. And two members are here from the outstanding congressional delegation, Bill Foster and Eric Sorensen. Bill, where are you? There they are. Representative Villa. We love them. <laughs> Didn't know he's here. And, and look, one of your great sen Where are you? I'm sorry, man. And uh, two of your great senators, Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth, can't be here because they're in Washington voting. But I, they had to stay back. And by the way, they fight tirelessly for the people of Illinois. And Durbin busted his neck in this job, too, as well. Look, folks, they've worked nonstop to bring good jobs back to Belvedere. Two people, two people on my team are here who did so much to support UAW negotiations. Our acting Secretary of Labor, Julie Sue, where are you, Julie? And Gene Sperling. I think, I think Sean, I think, I think Sean would tell you they did a hell of a job, and thank you to all the state and local leaders here today. But most of all, to the members of UAW, you're tough, tough, tough as they come. Yeah. First outfit ever endorsed me as a 29-year-old kid when I was running for the United States Senate, and uh, with me my whole career. You know, the fact is, it starts at the top, though with Sean Fain. Sean, you've done one hell of a job, pal. Yeah. When I called Sean to congratulate him on this historic deal to the big three automakers, he said, the credit goes to all of you, yeah. all of you out there. And it does. And it may be true, but it doesn't hurt to have a leader with a backbone like a ramrod. Yeah. And that's Sean. Yeah. You know, he and the entire UAW prove but I've always believed. Wall Street didn't build America. The, no. middle, the middle class built America. Yeah. And unions built the middle class. Yeah. That was true in the 20th century, it's still true today. And Americans know it. That's why unions are more popular today than they've been in decades. Yeah. About six weeks ago, I went to Belvedere, Michigan, excuse me, Bellevue, Michigan to join your brothers and sisters in the picket line. I brought back a lot of memories of my marching on picket lines as a United States Senator. But what I didn't realize, it was the first time a president ever did that. <laughs> it, was, it was second nature. No, I'm serious. I didn't know that. That shirt looks good on you. Well, I tell you, I, I've worn this shirt a lot, man. You have no idea. I've been involved with in the UAW longer than you were alive, man. <laughs> Look, that day in Michigan, I said the auto strike was about a simple proposition. You guys sacrificed to save the automobile industry from a the middle of a fight. No, you, that's a fact. You did. Some of you weren't around. You were too young. But you, I mean it. But the financial.